Hi, my sweeties. This is Nancy. And I'm um, here for the Saturday morning makes hosted and created by Jill Norwood. Thank you, Jill. And I only made a little bit because we've had a busy week with appointments. Then I was sick for a day and a half. So I only made a little bit. But surprisingly, it's always a lot of supplies. <laughs> okay, here we go. I used these stickers that I got, I think Hobby Lobby. I used some of these stickers. Some of these stickers. Some of these only because I was too lazy to uh, color and fussy cut my own. I used these die cuts. It's from Shabby Chic. They're very, very cute, but I'm telling you, I don't know. I have a, something blocks me really from using die cuts. I don't know why. But anyway, I used like a couple of them. That's it. I used this die. I think this is a Sissix. I'm not sure. I used this round die, which Chill, was it last week? I think it's from Impression Obsession, from somewhere. She introduced those round three inch and four inch dies. I ordered them, can't wait to have them. And I'll show you why. And I used ah, these, this big one and this little one. And I think this is, yeah, I don't know. I don't know which brand that is, but they're very cute because they're like distressed. I used this stamp. I had to think because I colored the others, but I don't think I've used them yet. Yeah, I used this one and I used this one. And I used, ah, I used this uh, Coffee with Gnomes. I use, this is also from that collection from um, Shabby, not too shabby shop. And so is this. And I used the gingerbread. And these are the two paper pads from Not Too Shabby Shop. This one and this one. And I'll tell you, the papers are really, really cute. And I like this because for the first time I can make something for, for maybe a male because of the... But to be honest, as cute as they are, they're, they're slick. They have a coating on it. Not a fan. Not a fan, but they are cute papers, so I will use them, but not a fan of that slick paper. Okay, here's what I've done. This is why I ordered the three and four inch uh, die set that Jill Norwood uh, talked about the other day, because I made uh, uh little card like this what is it called an easel card but the die and of course i had to make it you know do it myself but the one that she introduced you know it comes with so you can make an easel card just quicker you know what i'm saying you don't have to cut and glue all this so and uh this is from that uh <laughs> From the shabby chic thing no 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 not too shabby shop I'm I'm all uh, I got my head to lunch I'm meeting my daughter for lunch so th this will be fun but well, we're going to eat in an outdoor cafe so uh, I th I think the papers too busy because see I put in the you see there's the candy cane you can't even see it but I mean it's all right but <laughs> The paper's too busy, but isn't it cute paper? Oh, that's not that's from a different paper pad. I didn't pull it. It's all right. This one, oh, this is the only mail tag that I really got. I used that uh, from the not too shabby shop, and I thought this was very more for a mail. 
and this is the stamp and uh, I didn't put really nothing on there because like I said it's I gotta make some for my grandson and my husband more of the male ones oh, look, my thing fell off that's all right anyway then I got these measurements I think from Pinterest I really wanted to try a different card and I mean it's not perfect I'm not happy with it and that's where I used a few of the die cuts but I couldn't use most of them because they were too big so I made these cards these are the two stamps from the not too shabby shop these are fussy cut from the paper and it opens like this and this only this and this and this and I actually had to trim this one down to make it fit in this panel and these are the smallest ones these two the, and this isn't even the biggest one they're very big and these are from that C6 sets again those bubbles and these garlands come in the set. I mean, it's 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 a cute set. And this comes, the garland comes in. It's a cute set, but they're so big. And I'm not, there's something that's blocking me of using die cuts. I don't know why. So anyway, I got these measurements from um, Pinterest. But see, I layered another paper on there, right? So I couldn't get these measurements right. I couldn't get these measurements right. So what I did is I cut this, I cut the blue, the solid blue. Then I cut it again in the pattern, right? And then I cut the pattern one, one eighth of an inch in and one eighth of an inch off on the bottom. And that's the only way that I could make and you know layer it because even though they gave the instructions on Pinterest did not work for me of course so it goes like this and I'm I'm thinking if I make a bigger car nah I I, I can make it longer but I couldn't make it wider because I would have to figure the scoring out and I don't think that's gonna work for me I can't figure that out and see it's not exactly it's off one eighth of an inch well it may be less than an eighth of an inch. anyway I've tried I wanted to make a different card I'm not 100% happy with it but there you go and then I made some I'm, I you know I'm not a cook I'm not a baker uh, some of you know I despise anything in the kitchen but everybody's showing this cute little baking and cooking stuff, and I don't have any of that. So I thought, I'm not gonna buy anymore, I'm not gonna buy anymore. So I didn't, okay? So I used this die to make, and it's not per, okay? And that's what I use those little stickers for too. And I used that to make my own little cookie rack. And I could have, you know, the corners, I could have cut it and glued it, but I thought, nah, it's all right. I, it's, too, it's too fiddly. My hand hurts too much. And these are the little stickers because I don't have cookie things. And I've seen it also at Hobby Lobby, but it's big and heavy. Uh, but I've mostly seen it. Have I seen a make of it? maybe on Marilyn Chi. I know everybody shows it in a haul, but I think maybe Marilyn Chi showed one that was already really put together. But anyway, I, I tried. So, and then I don't know how to hang it up because I wanted a wire, right? But I guess with a little button, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. But I just wanted to try. And it was super easy to make because all you gotta do is score an eighth of an inch in and I just squeezed the the ends anyway that's my make I did do a little haul uh, in between doctor's appointments and stuff and I got time to show it to you 
so I will. Yeah, we went to Hobby Lobby and I bought some Copics, right? And uh, we weren't finished shopping, so they took it to the register because you can't put it in your cart. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm thirsty. Hold on. So anyway, we get to the register after 15, 20 minutes of more shopping. And the Hobby Lobby we went to is in, in the ten Tennessee side. And we checked out, went home. I unpacked. I go, where's my Copics? Yeah, they're still there. Forgot them all about it. But I did pick these up. This is the front. It says Noel. And of course, we all know everything's 50%. I mean, all the Christmas is 50% off. These were only $2.99. And I've seen... Was it Elise? She made the cutest things. I, I'd have to turn it around. A recipe stamp or a gingerbread stamp, which I have to find one. Well, I have to find one, period. But then it has to fit in here, right? And she stamped it on there. And then she did a sprig on here, just an evergreen sprig and a bow. The cutest thing. And I thought I could give them as gifts, too. And I, this is the front. I won't use the front. The back's the same. So I bought five of those. Oh, I thought this is to have a sweet Christmas. That's from the Not Too Shabby collection. I stamped it out. And it just might fit on here. I didn't want to stamp it on the wood yet in case I screw it up. So we'll see if I have the guts to stamp on it. Uh... I bought this, and I want to spray paint it in red, probably. And it's all glass at Hobby Lobby. And these pom-poms, it goes all the way down. At first, I thought it stopped here, and I thought, oh, I'll make a little something. And I might still do that, put a thing, something in there, and make a little scene. I might still do that. I don't know. Uh... But these little pom-poms came from a store called Pop Shelf. <gasps> Fabulous. They have some, not a whole lot, but they have some uh, uh, crafty stuff. A lot of it for kids, but there is some that we can actually use. So I, I'm, I'm going to go there again because it's, it's a little bit more upscale than the Dollar Tree, but that's it. I bought these. That's from the Pop Shelf. Uh, because last year I made snowmen with this. Well, I made one snowman and the rest was gnomes for my grandson's first Christmas away so he could decorate his apartment because he's all the way in Ohio. We're in Kentucky. So it was his first Christmas away, so I made him a bunch of decorations. And I bought these. I mean, it's not exactly... I had prettier shapes last year, but I paid more money for it these I, I had to pay them singularly they didn't come in pack and they were more rounded so i'm gonna try with these and if i don't like it it's it's nothing i can throw it away i bought these i don't know what to do with them i bought them because everybody else bought them okay i bought these and we all know what i'm gonna do with these uh of course we're gonna make ginger i well ginger or the snowman from chill and uh peachy keen collection so yeah there's six in there and it's only four dollars so i paid two right for six and i bought some stickers and this came from that pop shelf believe it or not that cheap store two dollars and it's a choli that's a good price right for a choli and it's little 3d lanterns well Puffy lanterns. So that's cute. I bought these. These are cute, like strings of lights. I bought these. Can you see it? And I bought these to make candy canes. I didn't have them when I made the other candy cane. Okay, I bought these. And I should have bought the smaller, but they are cute. I was thinking to hang them in, if I make a banner, to hang them in between like the gingerbread or something. Uh, you know, put 
the yarn through there with a big needle. Uh, they had small ones. And see, when I made the gnomes and the snowman, I made my own pom-poms, right? But now my it hurts so much in here. And they had smaller ones. If I get to go back to Hobby Lobby soon, because I mean, we're in November, right? Then um, I'm gonna see if they have small enough ones for these. I know they had different sizes, but I don't know if they had small enough ones. And the last thing I bought was this, because Tippy and I, uh, I made some for Easter a couple of years ago. You know, you put the little fa paper faces that you buy, that you print off on Google, and then you make little bodies with these. Uh, and we wanted to make some, she hasn't made them yet, and we wanted to make them together uh, over FaceTime, but I haven't printed off any faces yet, and I threw all the other ones away. So uh, we're still gonna do it. And the last thing I bought, I said that was the last thing I liked. Okay, you know how Jill and a right and everybody and a white and everybody's using that glitter spray and I've always always forget it and I always think it's so pretty. <gasps> Finally bought it. I bought little ones because they were expensive enough. And I think this is the one, the the Krylon one that she suggested. Because the other one you have to I think buy online. But I was at Hobby Lobby and I think this is the one that she suggested. Glimmer, shimmer. Silver and glitter, shimmer, glistening gold. I think those two are the ones. I hope so anyway, because I don't have to receipt anymore. I'm done. Have a, gr I got to go. Have a great rest of the week. No, have a great weekend. And then the rest of the week. Uh, I've already been on YouTube, enjoying your videos. Been on Instagram, loving your photos. So... Uh, I'll, I'll keep checking in the evening and stuff to see if there's any new ones. So, be good and kind to each other. Love each other. And love and peace. Bye-bye.